The Chinsali Magistrate Court was filled to capacity when scores of sympathizers of Shiwangandu Member of Parliament Stephen Kampiongo appeared in a case of endangering the safety of an aircraft. In this continued trial, Mr. Kampiongo, alongside six other people, is accused of allegedly attempting to disrupt a rally to be held by the UPND at Kalalantekwe School Grounds in Shiwangandu District in 2015. The case has been before this court for several months, and now the prosecution team has concluded testimonies from 12 witnesses. The lawmaker's defense lawyer spoke to Diamond News. What has now remained this for us to make a submission on an case to answer. Procedurally, what will happen is the court is going to receive submissions from us, as well as submissions from the state, to then make a determination whether the accused person has been placed on their defense on the basis of the witnesses they've called. I think they've got 18 witnesses. So we ask the court to indulge us because uh, it's been quite a marathon. So we're going to put our submissions in writing. The court has given us the latitude to do that and we're going to submit on Friday, um, on Monday rather, next, next week. And our colleagues are going to submit on Friday next week. The magistrate court has since set June 7th as the date for delivering judgment. Hey, fortunately, the state has managed to close its case. The court, the only one witness, who was uh, the officer who investigated this, uh, this alleged offence. We had been expectant that we were going to produce another witness who was a pilot of the, the aircraft in question, but uh, you noticed they have dispensed with uh, calling the, uh, the, the pilot. Uh, they haven't given any, any reference to the court, so we will not, we will not uh, uh, suspect anything. But for us, I think it's, uh, it's progress. And Mr. Kampiongo is relieved and hopes the final chapter will be in his favour. Well, basically, I can just describe the status quo as a relief, um, not only to me and my fellow accused, uh, but for the people of Shwangandu, who have been looking forward to, to um, uh, me being with them and to do the work that um, they have elected me to do. The offence of endangering the safety of an aircraft is contrary to the Civil Aviation Act, Section 8, Chapter 445 of the Laws of Zambia, and if the seven are found guilty, they may be slapped with a minimum 15 years jail term or maximum sentence of life imprisonment. Cecilia Kayam Prokoso, Diamond News, Chinsali, Uchinga Province.